Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing. My name is Saike and this is the second attempt to beat uh, the Exquisite Timing um, uh, challenge on Legendary Difficulty, Iron Man of course, and Permanent Dark Events as well. We are in month number two, it's April the 28th I think, so pretty much towards the end of month number two. A uh, short recap of uh, the status, we find ourselves uh, ready to expand, we could theoretically do the black side mission which we're almost ready to do, but first we need to do a retaliation mission. Uh, in terms of our building path we're pretty close to finishing the shadow chamber and soon a laboratory will be here as well, just pushing our research even further and faster. Overall I would say uh, this is um, a much better attempt than the first one, but now we gotta be mindful um, in being able to actually do the assault. It's a Haven assault, moderate uh, difficulty, which I can't fully remember if uh, the assassin timer is or the chosen timer is available or not. I would assume it is, so I will play accordingly. Um, we are taking Hayward and Zirkim, uh, two of our top contenders. Hogbite needs leveling and uh, since Rendon is currently unavailable, we're taking a no-name Corporal uh, Grandier, whom we've just received. Uh, most of our soldiers are in long-term care, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I need to spend some time getting them out of the facility. Um, and I probably will need to stop doing that going forward and instead really invest in scan into scanning Intel. So it's a pretty, pretty close call just from a timing perspective. Uh, we're still trying to speed it up as much as possible. Before we make plans though, let's first survive this mission. All right, here we go again. One of those chosen just... is leading assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. Well, that explains whether or not the Chosen is going to be here. Far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. We know that the aliens will eventually move in. We can't just mindlessly charge in. That wouldn't be a clever idea. Not at all. Good copy. Moving on target. So instead, let's put everyone into kind of a decent position here. I like to uh, think that the high ground position here would actually be beneficial Roger for us. That. And Hogbite actually takes a double That's movement correct. into full cover. Good. Nothing spectacular, but a safe first move with a full overwatch. And there they are, Vipers. Plus purifiers. Alright, stock dealt at least one point of damage. We should assume whatever Advent is using for fuel is extremely volatile. Avoid giving them any opportunity to detonate those tanks. <laughs> Gotta love uh, the dodge ability of them. Just fantastic. You know, one of the biggest issues is we can't immediately kill it, but we could flank it over here. And then we could kill it. Or we're just killing it right away. Hayward leads the charge. That's good. Some good momentum here. Again, can't really flank. I'm wondering whether or not I would really want to use a grenade. I think there is no huge disadvantage. And I'd rather be safe than sorry for now. Saving the second one <clears throat> for a bit of a harder pack. Well, of course, he positioned himself fortunately in a way that 
I just can't reach him with uh, Zirkim. So we're just taking a moment to move, free up the position. And it is most certainly not the best play. And I am also not necessarily a lucky. This, the problem with this play here is he has a certain chance to just detonate. The detonation uh, would cause pretty substantial damage. We're not immune to fire on him yet. He doesn't have um, he doesn't have the psi ability to to prevent that. Yes, granted, we would uh, get um, some focus out of it, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. I know it's a pretty lame decision just to go up here, but like I said, I rather prefer to be safe. Just seen that there is um, another Viper up there. The enemy chases my life. Well, apparently I could have killed him. That's affirmative. But yeah, I don't like to gamble to begin with. If you, if you want to be successful in XCOM, the first thing that you will need to learn is try to understand chances and try to minimize the times where you are failing. On Overwatch. Guide my hand. Overwatch Overwatching, my just in case if he comes around that we're not uh, without cover. There's a large group of civilians pinned down well, now they are location. triggered. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. All right. Apparently, it looked for a second as if the Viper moved carelessly, but that was not the case. That's affirmative. Moving up here. Flanking the Viper. Nice little four points of damage. Still not good enough for a kill, right? Heading out. Moving up. That puts her into level range. Moving into the open so that we can kill it. Get plus one focus and also um, get parry going. Superior scope is absolutely fantastic. That's great. They're in core, not that useful, and another alien cache. So we are good on Intel, that's for sure. Moving on target location. Moving up. Overwatching. And I forgot he still does not have parry. The other alien still can take its turns. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. All right, it seems we're giving them a pretty good uh, beating back, which is nice to see. 
That's by the way the one missing target there. And they are hitting the Sun Lancer really nicely. Alright, Zirkim takes an aggressive stance up here. We are putting everyone else into an Overwatch-like position. That means this guy here would have been hit if he would have actually moved into our direction. He did not do that. Said we know there's another pack over here. Two stun lancers and two stun lancers plus someone over here. We're fine so far. All of these civilians here are safe. So we are in an advantageous position for the time being. Oh yeah, if they could get him down, that would be awesome. Very nice. That means all of the packs from the first area here have been killed. So naturally those will move up. Yep. So usually there are two packs tied to the first uh, area of combat. And once those are killed, uh, the uh, resistance operatives will just simply move up and help whoever is left. That's what has been currently happening. We've just triggered uh, the one pack that's standing there, which is fine. They will very likely go for civilians either way. Let's try to hit the purifier. Nice one, Zirkim. I totally love high ground. That's awesome. I comply. Moving up just a tiny bit. You know what? We need to get him in range, so double move is okay. Can't kill the stun lancer. Stun lancers are going to lance, so might as well prevent them from reaching the target. The only thing in range should be our grenadier. We'll therefore sponsor an aid protocol. I've got eyes on an advent position. We're still fine. That was unfortunate because we're now losing resistance operatives. They are pretty valuable because they can actually shoot. Let's see with combined forces if they are capable of just manhandling them down here. Don't shoot into full cover, uh, dude. Very nice. So far, so good. One more shot. All right. Definitely a pretty solid option to just get rid of the cover, deal enough damage. So we're going to do that. Optimizing our action economy, so I'm reloading first. That's very important. If you can do it, do it. Um, additionally, can we? No, we can't. Can't hit the truck as well. That's a bit of a bummer. Alright, both of them pretty uh, sizably injured 
unfortunately the tree is in the way and we can't really hit the other one that's very unfortunate There we go. Rendered him down. Nice little maximum focus now. Reload Hayward. Uh, the Sun Lancer will definitely um, be able to reach this, but there's a sole chance that we can kill it. Unfortunately, not happening. So now the only question is who should be in the front line? I would say it should be our Grenadier most expendable resource here well luckily we we didn't get hit wow they sucked this round nice and they only injured they did not kill <clears throat> now it's time for some retaliation of our resistance friends there we go, buddy. Good job. Yep. Looks like a big fat hit to me. Okay, we gotta be a bit careful with this situation because uh, the faceless ones still might as well be in that group very nice super good focus fire awesome love it we could heal our resistance uh, fighters but that might be a bit over ambitious instead okay. let's move up full cover Okay, we're starting with our sniper. Come on, Zirkim. Let's go, buddy. Nice. Good hit. Move into position. Haywire moves up. Again, didn't hit the Sun Lancer, that's unfortunate. Yeah, let's get this Sun Lancer here down. Target down. Don't want to move in. To victory. Taking full cover. And we're using a bit of our uh, stored up energy just to finish those guys. There's the first phase, this one. So you gotta be respectful, those guys have 12 hit points. One thing that I forgot is we do have resistance operatives with us. And we do have a lot of them with us. Perfect timing for everyone to reload. Good. Well, let's see. Can we? So 
somewhat get in range. We cannot, it appears. And just for the sake of making sure that that thing cannot reach us, there's a nice little flashbang. Eat that and choke on it. Bit of regeneration. We would have killed it if it would have been for its regeneration. And may I dare to say that they are probably going to kill it. There you go. Flawless mission. And I think we only lost two. So I was pretty damn nice. Good. We know that Hogbite definitely got a promotion. Hopefully we'll get one more. There's no way the aliens were yeah. fight like well, that. wishful you thinking there, Saiken. Wishful thinking. We're taking Perry. Not even a question. He got himself Shadow Step. Not the best, but we have plenty of other options. I'm of course hoping for Bladestorm. Shadow Step isn't bad either, so don't get me wrong. 14 civilians is fantastic. That'll give us plenty of um, extra supplies. Yeah, look at that. 50 extra supplies. Holy shit, that was a successful mission. That was a successful mission. Okay, good. Let's assess where we are. Uh, the exquisite timing is one on the strategic layer and not on the tactical layer. Well, tactical layer, it's also um, uh, required and you need to play almost flawlessly on the missions, um, but the decision making is uh, way more important than in normal missions. So we get some more intel, I get it, uh, datapad decryption. I think from the intel side we're okay for now. Let's take a short look at our armory in general. Got Zirkim still available, um, got Naxus available, and now unfortunately Hogbite is tired. Uh, got a Grenadier theoretically available, yeah I guess we need and a Reaper. But we need to spend some time getting those back, maybe three days until Bones the Reaper is back. Could Bones plus a Sharpshooter plus Noxus as a specialist and this Grenadier do the Black Side mission? Probably. Yeah, probably. I feel confident that I could do it. The earlier the better. So maybe we're waiting three days and then I'll just I'll just do it. In terms of other things that are happening, <clears throat> tech support is a new engineer. Yes, that is important. And I know that we've sped this up because we wanted the new engineer to then start with the clearing. We don't need the power relay yet. Clearing will be <coughs> done soon. <clears throat> Let's just double check real quick. So it would be done in seven days. Yeah, I think the idea was we could... We, we would need to put one engineer here. So the clearing can take place even without um, that engineer for now. So we're just trying to get the engineer as fast as, po as uh, humanly possible. And we would be at four engineers, three scientists. I remember that I bought a scientist uh, with Intel. It's all good. Um, it works well. Three days until we're now infiltrating, um, infiltrating the black side. Resistance contracts, um, not bad. But I think we need to be really careful with how we're spending our time now. Infill still seems to be a crucial portion. In terms of research, 
the other big uh, thing is I'd like to I'd like to get to plated armor as soon as possible for 25 days could theoretically start that afterwards um, with the um, finishing of the uh, laboratory that definitely would speed up quite a bit Shadow Chamber, as soon as we finish it, um, we need to go through the um, through the entire research. So I think uh, in terms of research, um, realistically, we should finish Plated Armor just so that we're having a combat boost right away. Um, with all of the bonuses, we should be good to go. Um, yeah, and then afterwards, we're just going for the shadow chamber and the shadow chamber only okay makes sense we ah i remember i didn't want to contact that area until we built the shadow chamber so that the two extra missions in that uh, that will get through the shadow chamber will spawn closer so shadow chamber a 11 days and then we would essentially start the first research there if i'm not mistaken as soon as we um, hit the shadow chamber we should be getting both of the coordinates uh, that'll be number one the suit and number two um, the gateway one last thing sorry for taking uh, so long but this is actually important and you don't want to miss it up um, engineering let's check our inventory did i have codex brain yeah i did uh, we already did the codex brain okay cool uh, so that codex brain can be researched and with the codex brain we'll get the re um, the location so we're good she we're good to go guys all righty um do we need more uh fast healing or are we fully focusing on intel i think since there is nothing right now happening I might as well go for intel just totally commit to that in case you're wondering why i'm not taking the supply drops uh, multiple reasons for that a we do have um uh a clearing of the alien debris at the moment and secondly in seven days there will be more supplies essentially making it a t more time efficient to to then do um, the scanning for Command the supply drop the to make on the avatar project. pursuit of knowledge laboratory provides additional 20 percent boost to research times Ooh. makes contact and install radio relays on this continent to receive uh, this bonus okay yeah we need to have full contact so that is actually something i haven't even thought about uh, the bonuses until now um, we theoretically would need um, a radio relay that's not a problem we can easily also make contact with both because i'm very um, certain uh, that one of uh, the locations will be over here but we're only doing that afterwards and the 20 percent additional research time might turn out to be super super effective um, in a sense that we are even further pushing uh, the limits of how fast we can research like it i like it look at that uh 80 intel so we're rocking solid 300 intel that's good enough for now and a couple of instance autopsies so we are gifted with mimic beacons thank you uh, that's due to the a uh, to the uh, data uh, pad we're also gifted with uh, um, the arc blade uh, upgrade which is fantastic and our um, axe weapon upgrade we could go for five days to get another data pad or plus one damage on our sniper rifles you know i'm going to say it is incredibly appealing to think that more damage on the sniper rifle just for free even if we were to upgrade the weapons the problem here is 
to really think through uh, what um, what the benefit versus uh, the opportunity cost is. In a normal campaign, I would easily go for that because all it does is it delays your research a little bit, but not so much here, because here research time is incredibly valuable. So we're go definitely going to skip the uh, sniper rifles, although it's great. Uh, we will probably need to go for plated armor. I was hoping that that would be inspired by the data pad. I'm thinking um, if we want to get another data pad decryption going because we have been given five days of additional research time due to the inspiration um, and that is nothing to be scoffing at. Uh, we could get one or two more autopsies for free if we, um, if we so desire. Um, it would just push the plated armor further back. We would be good on intel though, currently at 200 almost 300 if we were going for another data pad we would be definitely good to go plated armor is great as well it's a difficult choice it's a difficult choice i think i'll go for plated armor and uh, pass on that one Keep the original plan. It hurts to uh, to not go for the original plan. It really does. But I think overall it's going to be the right decision. Plus, if we're working on plated armor with the next supply drop, there is a chance that the black market will have a higher chance that the black market will have a um, a research rush on plated armor and that's exactly what we would want to have let me think did we forget anything i just need to be super focused to not forget anything resistance contracts not uh, necessary at this point we need to build a, a contact center anyways could you could you get away with five let me just think one two three four five that's a gamble. That would be a risky gamble. I think we still need to build it. On the other hand, we're good on Intel, so might as well uh, do it. Avenger plotting new Let's try it. Um, I'm willing to give it a go and get another resistance contact. Maybe we can Together. just we fully go that direction. Path. Okay, perfect. We got a promotion here. Um, which is fantastic. Quickfeet just got promoted. Let's just go to the armory real quick. Fantastic. Promote soldier. We're looking at run and gun. Good job. Quickfeet is um, is ready. So we got two lieutenants and Zirkim as a sergeant sharpshooter. I like that. Now, let's see what else uh, would we want to do. We got another promotion going for only nine days. That is fantastic. Intel not needed. The health, however, would be great. Another promotion here for only eight days. Increased income is not uh, necessary, though. I think we're going for the extra faction. Ten dodge. Fantastic. But... Uh, Probably not what we want to do at this point. So it's quick feet again. Takes another soldier with him. I would say at this point. Just let him deal together with um, Anatoly here. And yeah, we would get a faction soldier plus a promotion on top of it. That's. That is a pretty, pretty damn good deal. The promotion would uh, get us up to captain rank in nine days. So that's great as well. We don't need quick feet at the moment. Um, and having him be our highest rank is also not bad because the swords can be incredibly deadly uh, once they reach higher ranks. So that's a, that's a good investment. I like it.
One thing that I've not yet done is... Yeah, we, we would need a training center for a bond upgrade. Okay. Great. We got an engineer, two engineers actually, so I shouldn't forget about that. Um, here we go. Continuing with speeding up the resistance ring um, topic, by the way, just so that we put as many missions in there as, as possible for now. 10 days is good. 15 days would be probably a little bit too long. We do that at the expense of not clearing enough alien debris. Um, so the alternative is clearing this alien debris over here. But at this point, we need all the help we can get. Do we want to do that? You know, why not? Uh, because here's my thought process. Number one, we'll get more uh, space going and we have the 50% um, uh, uh, reduction for clearing alien debris. Um, the second point uh, that I'm thinking about is step. Uh, think one step ahead. Here, we're going to build the GTS. Okay, fair enough. Um, that's already a given. And I think the GTS with a squad size increase will be incredibly helpful. But already uh, building up the next uh, slot will give us earlier access to um, uh, to the either proving grounds or training um, uh, uh, training center. I probably will opt for the training center uh, just because it provides more overall bonuses and and we might even be able to unlock um, depending on how long uh, that here will take. Uh, that's three over here. Yeah, we don't know how long that will take. Depending on how long it takes, we might even be able to get another um, another building in. That of course assumes that we don't need to build more resist uh, more communication facilities. Good. Let's see. She's uh, going to be a saboteur. That stinks because it could mean she sabotages our research. Let's hope that that's not going to happen. New alien facility in one week. Well, that is not good. And at least for this month, we don't need to deal with the um, retaliation strike. Uh, we need to raise influence with both of the factions rather sooner than later. And we definitely keep the speed buff. 10% uh, additional drops, uh, great, but not needed. This here is good. Double ability points gained in combat. But since we don't have a training facility yet, doesn't really matter. The 20% will uh, recovery is actually quite uh, considerable in our specific case because we will have a lot of missions and we can't afford people being tired. Okay, we got uh potential supplies over here i'll just scan for one day for now just to optimize a bit that we do have a little cushion good so that's are we maybe going to uh, to take in all of the supplies maybe yeah and afterwards we'll go to the black market there we go Shadow Chamber almost done, baby. That is exactly what we were looking for. Let's see if we can rush. Viper Autopsy, Trooper Autopsy, Purifier Autopsy. That stinks. Could get another uh, Engineer. Not necessary at this point. This here is good, but not worth 40 Intel. Specifically, since Intel is going to be our shortcoming. What can we sell? Larium crystals. You know what? A few are okay. Data pads. Mm, probably a no-go. Yeah, we'll keep the data pads. A 
uh, but we also have data cache so they those are the bigger versions so to speak um i think we can sell one still got plenty we won't have enough time to research all of them anyways so that gives us plenty plenty of resources now in terms of next steps here I was hoping we could get uh, a scientist, but that is not the case. Let's speed up the covert actions again. We do have a few available. Um, we can increase our, um, basically our reputation here. We can recruit another engineer for whatever it's worth. Apparently the game decides that we need more engineers and not so many scientists, which kind of tells me that the game hopefully is going to give us a scientist on one of the missions as a reward for free. So yeah, that engineer recruitment uh, certainly attractive. And we definitely need to increase uh, the, the influence as well. We worked a bit on the alien debris. That's fine. Um, let's now uh, find the skirmishers as fast as possible so that we can speed up that process. Plated armor is still 18 days. I was hoping to decrease that substantially. Didn't work out. Sometimes the RNG is just not on your side. You should establish so... contact with the local resistance network as soon as possible. Oh yeah, thank you, Council. I know that. There we go. That's important. With the shadow chamber fully operational, we can use its advanced encryption. Good. We're starting uh, the research of the codex uh, that's now happening in the next ten days. Again, beginning of May, mid of May, we're done with the codex. And once the codex data is done, it'll help us to get all of the locations that we need. From there, we can uh, immediately make contact, go to the black site um, if needed, and start the black site um, uh, vial research if that's really needed. Um, yeah, and the rest should be relatively straightforward. We do have um, now an engineer left over, whom we can put in here. Can't really upgrade any of those uh, buildings. I think we can't upgrade uh, the shadow chamber yet. We'll need the uh, we'll need the gateway for that. Uh, laboratory only five more days. That's awesome. Phenomenal news. That's really good. Overall, it looks good. I mean, the uh, the momentum is strong. We have all of May, we have all of June, and we have half of July to get it done. So I need to focus non-stop just to rush. Uh, the research um, which means plated armor needs to wait for now it is what it is there we go we got another room cleared now here's the kicker we wanted more energy we got the energy, we got the technology. Now it is time to get the guerrilla tactic school. Don't want to wait 28 days. So we're continuously reprioritizing here. Getting it down just to squeeze out the last, uh, last bit of extra time. GTS in 14 days. That's awesome because we will need six and uh, six um, soldiers for the more difficult um, story missions. And let's get this baby rolling. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Yeah, we're not going to have any say in whether or not we're approaching that area. Doesn't matter for now. Next big thing is going to be the laboratory, which is going to be done in three days. And the next big stop will be the Codex Brain when something actually happens. Commander, the 
us on the Avatar project. There is our resistance um, plus one. Don't need the regional income. We're fine. Don't need to make contact. We want to stay in a single region for now. So let's continue to gain intel, I would say. Nice. We got our promotion. No one got injured. That's even better. This is the headquarters of the skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now that we've established contact, we can scan at this location to gain additional support for our cause. You know Perfect. A uh, bit of breakthrough research and reduce avatar project. All Intel rewards increased by 10% isn't bad. Good. Let's take a look. We could reduce the Avatar project. Not necessary. Breakthrough research. Only allows us to get an extra, um, uh, extra modding slot for shotguns. That's not good enough. Um, we don't need alien loot. We could get a promotion, but that's 11 days. It's an engineer on the other hand. This is really a pretty, a pretty good mission for us. We're good at engineers, though. I think we're okay for now. So naturally, what we're going to do is we are upgrading our influence In order to do that, whom are we putting on the missions? Let me see. Who needs aim? Sharpshooter, of course. Duh. But uh, they also need a promotion. So which of the sergeants is most expendable? Yeah, I think we're putting quick feet again on those, mis uh, on those uh, missions, mainly because he's already pretty high level. I like Bladestorm, I like Implaceable. We're going with Bladestorm. Um, yeah, at this point, I might even say that Quick Feet might be a tiny bit better on the missions compared to Zirkim, just due to his higher level. So, how about how about we're going for Zirkim here? Yeah, it's really a waste not to give him the plus two uh, to aim. Ambush, moderate chance. Yeah, that's actually good with the ambush. Uh, there's a chance that he will get even more um, experience. So we're going all in here um, and putting two of our soldiers plus an optional rookie to support the course onto this mission there we go no wounded uh, characters but a more chance of being uh, ambushed and that's fine i don't mind actually it would give us an advantage if they were to go uh, through an ambush mission school jacks scatter gun yeah i'm totally fine they do have a really decent equipment. Good. Yeah, we need to... I wanted to to get to a higher level of influence uh, this time. So I'll focus on that strategy and really try to execute on it. I did a bad job uh, doing it the last time. And hopefully this time I'm going to be a bit more consistent in doing, uh, doing that. 
because higher influence also means more resistance orders and potentially, potentially, maybe even go and uh, destroy one of the Chosen. If I could get my hands on the Chosen weapons, oh boy, that would be awesome. That would be absolutely fantastic. So in terms of Intel versus faster building, what's actually the uh, call here? Faster building affects two buildings. Now we still can uh, use some Intel. So I think we're sticking with Intel. All right, look at that. There's the scientist. I predicted it like a maniac. The game definitely wanted us to get a scientist. Uh, also counters the hidden event, which is perfect. Uh, this is an all-around good mission, Operation Driving King. Unfortunately, a um, uh, few of our best soldiers aren't available, but that's okay. Um, we got to deal with an unknown enemy, Advent Trooper, Viper, Stun Lancer, Sectored. I bet you this year is going to be a mech. Um, so we better bring some shredding capabilities with us, but other than that, I mean, nine enemies, so uh, that's pretty much doable. Overall, May 10th, so a lot of time has passed. Um, seven more days until we get the Codex Brain. Boy, we gotta speed up the research, that's for sure. Hopefully with that extra scientist, we'll get even faster research. Then the laboratory kicks in. And once that is done, I gotta, I gotta expand rapidly. Um, rapidly, I want the, um, the bonus uh, uh, for additional research bonus for North America. So... Yeah, I, I think we're uh, good overall. It looks like a fair chance to actually do it, um, although it's still going to be a very long and very rocky road. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, uh, leave a like and uh, consider subscribing. Uh, that would mean a lot. And see you in the next run. Bye-bye.